Having a channel that's all about handwriting, I get this question a lot. Why does girl handwriting look the same? Why do girls have neater handwriting than boys? Why does girl handwriting look better than boys? Of course, not all girl handwriting is neat and not all boy handwriting is messy, but it is a pattern that is noticeable to me as well as people that don't even look at handwriting all that closely. So I thought today I'll share my personal theory why we see this difference between girl handwriting and boy handwriting. And the reason I'm putting girl and boy in quotations is because gender is a social construct. That's a whole nother video. But what I'm really talking about is people who were raised as girls, people who were raised as boys. If you're new, my name is Leah. A lot of people believe that handwriting is just how you're taught to write. However, it has a lot of subconscious as well as nervous system related influences. So subscribe. I am very close to 100,000 subscribers. Please subscribe. It's free. You get to watch these videos I put hours of work into for free. That's a very good deal, but let's get to the video. First, we need to break down what makes these two handwriting styles different and what are their defining characteristics that set them apart. So, ladies first. What are the defining traits of girl handwriting? Firstly, it's very round. There's little to no angularity in this style of handwriting. Secondly, it's very middle zone dominant. If you're new to handwriting analysis, all this means is if you were to divide the handwriting into thirds, then that middle third would take up the most space. And that's why we would call it middle zone dominant. And the last defining characteristic I notice is that the writing is very form conscious. And all that means is in Instead of the emphasis on the writing being on how fast it is, aka its speed, there is more of an emphasis on what the handwriting looks like, aka its form. So that's why I would call it form conscious. So these are the defining characteristics that I see. There may be more that I'm missing, but these are the main three that I see. Now let's do the same for the boys. What are the defining traits of boy handwriting? Firstly, it's far more angular than the girl's handwriting. There's a lot less roundness to it. Now for boy handwriting, there's a lots of variation of what boy handwriting can look like. So it's kind of hard to sum it all up in defining characteristics. But the last defining characteristic that I notice is that it has a lot of emphasis on speed as opposed to the form, AKA getting the words on the page as quickly and efficiently as possible, even if that comes at the expense of what the writing looks like. So we've defined all the characteristics. Now, according to handwriting analysis, also known as graphology, what would this indicate? So for girls, roundness indicates friendliness, compatibility. When it's combined with a chunky middle zone, it would indicate struggling with asserting yourself. And what that middle zone dominance would indicate is it indicates being social, being focused on present day. And again, when combined with a round form, indicates being less comfortable asserting yourself. And for that emphasis on form, it indicates caution, as well as placing more of an emphasis on how you are coming across. Now for the boys, we have that angularity, which indicates being energetic, vivacious, but also aggression and anger. And then that emphasis on speed, what that would indicate is someone who's a quick thinker, vivacious, but also impulsive and less concerned with how they're coming across. So now that you see what I see, let me ask you, do you notice anything? Anything particular, anything maybe about gender roles, anything maybe that this is exactly how men and women are socially conditioned to behave. This is where my theory is going. <laughs> so on my channel, I never talk about gender and how this affects how we're like socially conditioned to behave. But this question that I get so often requires it. So let's, let's, let's dig into this, shall we? Social conditioning for both men and women. People who are raised as girls are socialized to be kind and patient and compatible and be a good team player, but not necessarily to be leaders. That is of course changing, but with less women in positions of power, it's embedded in a lot of cultures. If you're from a country where this is similar or different, please like the comment section is all yours, but this would support why you see a lot more round forms and big middle zones in the handwriting of girls more so than boys. Cause both of these traits indicate compatibility, friendliness, not so much future planning, leadership or assertiveness. 
qualities that aren't really celebrated in women. Next point I'll make, girls are socialized to be very aware of how they are coming across, which would support why you see a lot more form consciousness in the handwriting of girls as opposed to boys, because that form consciousness indicates exactly that, being aware of how you're coming across. And being aware of how you are coming across doesn't just have to do with how you behave, what you say, what you do. It also has to do with what you look like, with how your appearance affects how you're coming across. There are entire industries dedicated to influencing a woman's appearance with hair, nails, fashion, skin care, even cosmetic surgery. There's probably even more that I can't even think of, but with that being said, there's a lot of emphasis in American culture, as well as many cultures worldwide, that condition women to place a lot of emphasis on how they look. And this also exists for men, but I don't believe it exists on the same scale as with women, which would also support why a lot of handwriting of guys doesn't have nearly the same emphasis on form as the handwriting of women's have. Then circling back to not looks, but the other aspect of how you're coming across, how you behave. Women are not allowed to experience certain emotions the same way men are. For example, women are not allowed to throw tantrums the same way men are. Women are not allowed to experience anger the same way that men are, because if she's angry, then she's a bitch or she's crazy. But when a man is angry, it's actually normalized and to the extreme at that, in that anger is one of the only emotions men are socially allowed to experience. Any pain, sadness, disappointment, loss should all be masked as anger. Anger being the more socially acceptable emotion men are able to experience. So let's look back at the handwriting again for guys. This would support why it's more common to see angular forms in the handwriting of men given angles indicate anger. So to sum everything up, why does a girl's handwriting often look different from a guy's handwriting? Given my background in handwriting analysis, given my understanding of the world, I believe it all boils down to social conditioning and has nothing inherent to do with a person's sex, but it just has to do with qualities that are more or less celebrated by society for either gender. So this has been my theory. I know gender can be a very emotional and sometimes triggering subject, so I appreciate you watching until the end. Let me know if you have any thoughts or feelings in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Okay, bye.